Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, I did a thing. I did a thing that I have not done in a little bit, and it's something these days that I do very, very rarely. And if you think you can guess what champ I took up. Now, I will talk about this champ. I'll give you a little hint. The champ for this video is a five star and I maxed them out. Now, in the past, I've maxed out four to do a path in uh, Act 7. I also maxed out Storm without any fanfare just because I liked her and felt like doing it. But this one is also for utility. So if you think you can guess, leave a comment below. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Angela. All right. So while I'm taking Angela up, let me explain why I'm doing this. So I have a six star Angela. I got a six star Angela very, very early on when six stars first came out. I believe she was probably my second or third, and the six star pool was very, very small. And she was considered the best of that pool at the time. Her signature ability was not good. It uh, reduced the chance that uh, folks would uh, nullify her buffs. But it was fairly useless until a certain encounter with a uh, symbiote supreme and you can look on my channel to see that fight it was a very difficult fight because of course symbiote supreme likes to nullify your buffs and i believe it was buffed up so you had to maintain a certain number of buffs to even do damage that seemed like a really bad combination right except angela was probably the best for that fight. And I got a one shot when a lot of people did not. So at that time, I was happy that I had duped my Angela. But when I first duped her, I was not happy. Not happy at all. Uh, because that encounter had not come into the game until later. Then they reworked Angela a little bit. Angela is, she was always good, but she's much better now. And her signature ability is actually very useful for her utility. All right, and we're going to take a look at that. But you can see here, I'm pumping up her SIG level because that's the whole point. Now, I don't know how often I'm going to use her, but in this case, and there are rare cases, the five star is better than the six star. My six star is like SIG 40. And the five star is now SIG 200. And that makes a huge difference. You can take a look there. Um, I'll talk about her SIG uh, ability here uh, for a little bit. So her SIG ability, based on the number of buffs she has, she can basically bypass a lot of things. Uh, I forget, degen immunity, um, but the thing that I like is that auto block. She can bypass the auto block. Uh, now, there is currently uh, Eternity of Pain, and we're fighting the Overseer. Now, I don't know if I'm going to end up using this Angela, but she's actually one of the better options for it. So I may do that. She meets all the objectors for Thronebreaker. Um, but I have another that I want to try and see if I can just nuke him down with a few revives and we'll be good. But if that doesn't work out, then I may end up using Angela here uh, for that fight. But that is Angela. Uh, I'll, I'll fight a little bit with her uh, just so you can see, because she does do some good damage. And with her at SIG 200, I believe she just needs to have like um, three buffs to just bypass stuff. So 
in this particular case, and it is rare, the five star was actually a better rank up. I could have taken the six star to rank three. But at SIG 40, she's not going to be as good in this situation where you want her utility as the five star. So if you're looking for the utility in a champion, it's easier to max out their SIG level if their utility is in their, <clears throat> excuse me, if their utility is in their SIG um, it's better sometimes to rank up the five star. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, even if I don't end up using her uh, for this overseer, I will end up using her at some point in time. I, I know this. So not a waste. I had these uh, resources. And I'm loving, by the way, the increase in the inventory caps because I was able to open up a bunch of crystals that I was holding on to because they were going to go into my overflow. And that was the only way that I could keep them uh, was to not open the crystals. But now I actually got to open up uh, like my T4 class catalyst crystals opened up all of the ones that I had. And uh, so I now know how much I have of each and can make a better decision. And I've been getting a lot of cosmic champions lately so um anyway let's go ahead and uh do a little fighting with her not much but let's see what she's got all right we're gonna go in with just angela she doesn't really have a lot of exciting um synergies and of course i could have brought in other synergies there are some pretty good uh synergies that go with uh angela some uh buff extension and things like that uh, I could have also brought in Odin and put in uh, some nice, you know, free buffs on her and stuff like that. But we'll just go ahead and use her like this. Now, her damage is not really going to be all that compared to the damage monsters we have these days. But it's still pretty good. Okay. Okay. And just keep in mind, this is a, a five-star. And I'm running suicides. But you'll notice my health is uh, staying up there. She gets that nice regen. Uh, you'll notice that I'm maintaining three Furies. I do that by just cycling through the uh, special one here. I build up to almost a special uh, two. Like that. Fire the special one off. Boom. As soon as I go over a bar of power, I got the next uh, Fury. All right. This one's a little tricky. Come on. There we go. He likes to play around a little bit. And there we go. So we got our three again. And remember, this is a, a five star. Whoops, I messed up. Was looking somewhere else. That gave me some, uh, I think it gave me an armor up. But she does some good damage. Great for um, the event quest sometimes. Buffed up. When I was uh, first doing map eight, I brought her in. Okay, here we go, boom, her damage rotation. 11K crit, five star, not bad. And again, I'm firing off these specials like crazy, but she gets that nice little heal. So unless she's dealing with a heal block, He's good. Finished the fight with 95% health. Running suicides. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video, this rank up. Was my uh, logic sound? Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know. Take care. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.